Well, hello, this is Kyle Cow's Tracks and Trails, and today we're trying something I've never actually tried before. I did a few off video, get the hang of it, so it look like a on video. So, let me get your eyes turned around and show you what I'm talking about. This is called Marlin Spike Itch, what you're seeing here. And I'm going to show you how to do this once I get down there. Now, those aren't exactly even like I want them to, it didn't work like that. Marlin Spike Itch. Now, I'm doing is I'm creating a ladder. Let's get a rope ladder. That's all I'm doing. Now my mule tape here, or actually something bull tape. And this will hold my weight. I didn't have no rope that I was looking for that was holding me, so I'm about 200 plus pounds. This will hold. It's bull tape right here. It doesn't say how many pounds, but these usually hold a bunch of pounds. And we'll find out once we climb up there. Up here, I did a lark's head. Now, there's different ways to do this. I may do another video on this particular knot. That's a star persistent knot. And what I'm talking about is different ways to do this. I could have came and did more with a lark's head. Because this wasn't straight. I didn't do it. Because I wanted to do way up there. But my mill tape or bull line. Whatever you want to call it. Bull tape. It says bull line right there. I've heard it called mule tape. So we'll just go with mule tape. But I wasn't long enough to go up there. I was wanting to do it way up there. And then climb it. So... But I'll show you that holds my weight. Well, right now we got another one to tie. Or maybe another two. It really just kind of depends. And I'll show you that I hold my weight. So I'll be right back with it. Alright. We are back. I'm going to try to show you the Martin spy kit here. All I was going to do is grab this. And I'm going to throw that over that way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up. See how I got that? I'm gonna crack me a pocket. See that pocket? See how my finger is? See how my finger's stuck in there? That's what we're gonna do. And my tail is kind of short here. I don't think it'll matter. I'm gonna try to get that through there. I got it uneven. My tail. Here, there we go. Alright, just make sure it would hold. And then, what we're going to do here is basically the same thing. Never mind spike hitch. Just like this. Take this thing right here. My hand's kind of way, sorry. And flip it over this way. See, now I got this loop. I'm going to flip it up on this line here. And I'm going to, again, crack me in our pocket. Hold on a minute, coming down. I'm just getting like this. Like this. And crack that pocket. And that should. I did everything right. See, I got kind of high there. It's not exactly even, but I got kind of high. So let's do it again so I can show you guys again how to do this. And it comes undone real easily, as you just saw. It came undone real easily. So let me try to do this where I think it's going to be. Alright. There we go. I don't think that part really matters as long as it don't kill me. All I'm doing, once again, is I'm creating that loop. See? And what I'm doing is I'm bringing it up. See how I'm flipping it up? And then I'm pulling, pull, pulling it into, not sure how to describe it. Now I got a pocket. And you can do this to hang your bags too. I've done this to hang my bag. I think I got a video on it. And it's uneven, but I don't think that part's really going to matter too much. It's not perfect. So let me get back with you guys and I'll show you the whole thing. And there's the end result of the Marlin Spy Catch ladder. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to climb on this thing and see if it'll hold me. It should. Look at my feet and there's right against the street. Wow. Alright. I 
only thing I'm having problems with is this part. So you can see, it's holding me. Let me grab this. There we go. Now let's drive against this tree. It's probably not the best of ideas. Because I'm actually having problems climbing up on it. So I'm not going to attempt to. If I had a branch that was straight, kind of like that one, I could have gone further and I actually could have climbed this thing. Because of that against that, I'm having problems getting my feet where I want them. And it's right up against this tree. I don't think. Well, we're going to try something. If I can get do what I want to do. I might be able to. Hold on. Oh, maybe. There, let's try that again. I screwed it up a little. There we go. Now that's still going up against the tree. Now I really got nothing to grab onto, huh? Um. As you can see, oops. So, we're going to call that good. As you can see, it's holding me. And that's basically the extent of it. I ended up killing myself. I wish I could have had more of a branch out that way straight that I could have just climbed it. I mean, I still would have swung other place. There's another rope there, that trick I want to try. It's actually a little bit more stable than this. But you saw it help me. Let's get back on it. As you can see, I'm holding. And that's doing great. I can stand over here. And my problem is I'm stepping in the middle. If I step on one of these, it's going to do that. So I actually might have been better off. Maybe making this part shorter. Like I said, it's the first one I've ever made. But anyways, this is called Cow's Tracks and Trails. If you like what you see, hit that like button. Please subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you get notified. And I'll see you on the next one. And also like, comment, and I do like the comments. And share the video, please. Thanks y'all for watching. This is Kyle Kyle's Tracks and Travels. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Bye-bye.